given to holiness, but at least he cares more for gold than degenerate Protestant law. Your gold's in my pocket, at least. I think you'll find our country a less pleasant place for Catholics than the one you left. Do you have any idea where we could start to find shelter? Ask around the docks for Anne Whittard. She sheltered all manner of folks in her time. Our orders were to avoid contact with women. Our orders were to spread the faith. Good day to you, Captain Marlowe. All right, my gentlemen, now. We are quite all right, yes. So you won't be looking for anywhere to stay then? We are searching for such a place. We were told a woman named Anne Whittard would give us lodgings. Do you know where we can find her? Right here. Come on then, though you've met me on my unlucky corner. I tell you, that street corner's never boded well for me ever since all those years ago. Some fool came riding round on a donkey and splattered mud all up my dress. We should probably introduce ourselves. If someone's told you to lodge with me, you probably shouldn't. I haven't seen you. I don't know you're here. And if anyone finds out, you're squatters. We can't afford to be open these days. We thank you. I don't know about good, sir, but thank you. It means something. A rare thanks does. We should head on to the Midlands. Lancashire has more Catholics than these southern parts. If you say so. What of finding safe houses? I'm doing excellently. Three of the local gentry have decided to throw their lot in, and I believe we can count on Miss Whittard, too. You're leaving already? We must. Taking the faith back to the people in this country will not be achieved by sitting in Southampton, however good the company. Well, I can only wish you Godspeed. And particularly to you, young sir, it seems a pity that one so young is committed to such dangerous enterprises. Juice Levant, God wills it. So brave. Well, good journeys to you. Wait! Before you go, could I know your name? I'm Edward. Farewell, Edmund. Farewell, for faith calls us all. And I only hope that God truly is on your side. My Queen, we have concerning reports of more priests coming in from the continent. I hear that some of them are Jesuits now, true fanatics. It will be hard to stop them. I do not wish to make a window into men's souls, Walsingham, but if my people will not conform, you know what to do. My spies are the finest in the world, and they will do whatever you bid. I cannot afford recusants and priests endangering my realm. They had better be the finest. We shall hunt your enemies down, my queen. Go then, bring the flock back to their shepherds. And what shall we do with the Jesuits? Let them fear the word England. Be careful, Edmund. Even though Lancashire is kinder to the likes of us, Elizabeth's spies are everywhere. I must go and speak to the local gentry. Stay quiet and do as little as you can. Well, I must do as he says. Where can you find me to sleep? My attic will be as good as hiding place as any. Won't you at least come and talk to some of us first, though, Mr. Campion? Many of us have not heard the Mass in years. It has been five years since I last found a priest to confess to. I have been ordered. Please, we do not know. It has been so long. 
We want to keep the old ways alive, but we cannot if even God's priests will not tell us if our ways are true and pure. Please! Your faith is pure, good lady. Then please, help us. Give us your wisdom, the magic of the priests. Give us our mass. As you wish. Forgive me, Robert, but the faith is stronger than any individual will. Dares no fault. And so come forth, and hear the mass said once more. Come forth, friends, and confess your sins. The true church is returning. I will come forth. I too will come forth. God is true. He is back with us. Onwards to church. What was that? Soldiers! I hear the man who goes by the name Edmund Campion. I cannot deny it. You are charged with being a treasonous spy and of planning the overthrow of Elizabeth, your rightful queen. I am ordered to arrest you and take you to London. By the grace of these good people, I am no traitor to country nor God. Will any man here deny the queen her rights or claim this prisoner as one of their own? Will you? I, I cannot. I will not. Robert, you know me. Do you know this man, sir? I do not. Robert! Robert! Get on the horse, traitor. You'll see where you end up.